Welcome to people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I buy and sell things we find at thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets, wherever we can find them. And we sell them on eBay, Depop, Grailed, and wherever we can sell them. Uh, and these are our top five thrift finds of the week, so let's get into it. So for the first half of the week, I was still the only parent in the house. Uh, as my wife was still on her way back from her trip uh, but she's back now so i'm back out in the thrift trenches trying to find some dope stuff and uh, we found some good stuff this week including uh hitting up some dope yard sales uh so i'm, I'm pretty happy with this week uh really excited because the next couple of weeks are the uh, citywide yard sales maybe i'll bring you guys along for that one uh, but they're coming up so those are always a lot of fun always find some good stuff so here is hoping. Now at number five, let's go ahead and get into it. We have this vest right here, denim vest. It is a Wrangler No Fault Denim. So this is probably from the late 70s, maybe the early 80s. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this tag right here uh, sort of ended around the early 1980s. Uh, I'm still going to try to confirm that for our big uh, Wrangler video that is forthcoming always. Um, but this thing is in okay condition. It's, it's a little rough. I'm not expecting like uh, much in terms of sale, uh, sales uh, profit from this, but I mostly got it because it was a like two bucks and B it's great for research. Always having more of this this stuff in the collection, always good to have it archived uh, and sort of get an idea of what's going on, so I can build uh, and create more good data sets for everybody. So this was super cool. Love finding it. Uh, it was a kind of a surprise find under a pile of a bunch of junk. But we did pick it up for a couple bucks, so this one's sweet. Now next up, this tee would be a bit higher on the list if it weren't for the size. Uh, but it's this Audio Slave tee on the vintage giant tag, probably from the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, still a cool tee, it's just a bit small. Um, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, there's definitely cooler Audio Slave t-shirts out there. Uh, but this is a legit giant tagged Audio Slave t-shirt, so definitely a cool find. Uh, you know, picking it up for like a buck too was like, Really nice, so uh, sweet find here, though I do wish it were a bit bigger, um, but still, not too bad, not too bad. All right, at number three, we have a pretty dope Logo Athletic. Now at number three, we got the Shark Tooth in the building. We have the Arizona Cardinals uh, Shark Tooth, I, I think that's what most people call it, Shark Tooth on the uh, Logo Athletic hat. This thing is super sick, iconic, you guys have seen the video that I've done on Logo Athletic. Um, definitely some of the coolest hats in the you know whole uh, conversation uh, from the 90s. Uh, so super sick find on this one. I picked this up for like 50 cents, I think. Uh, it does need a little bit of a cleanup, but for the most part, the bill is in great condition. Nothing too uh, destroyed. The, um, the strap is also in good condition. So super sick find here uh, for 50 cents. This is, you know this will probably go, I think probably closer to $50. Uh, I need to double check what the prices are doing for stuff like this, uh, but these are always pretty awesome to find. All right, at number two, we have vintage Levi's. You guys know I love to find vintage Levi's. We got some red tab 517s from 1987. Uh, this was pretty interesting because uh, it does have the tag that sort of, the last sort of vestige of that era uh, on the tag down here. Uh, this would have been the last one before it became the uh, Batwing logo tag. Uh, but this pair is in really good condition, size 3429 which is a good size for uh, jeans. Uh, definitely a great find. I got this again for like a buck or two at uh, some local random you know, country thrift store. Uh, so uh, probably a good flip into 30 to $50, depending if I want to wait a little bit longer for the right buyer, but still great color in this thing, uh, which might actually help it sell a bit faster because it's still got tons of life, tons of color in the wash. So. Super cool, dope find here. And before we get to number one, remember we do have a live stream on Mondays at 7 p.m. where we open up mystery bags full of t-shirts searching for valuable vintage t-shirts to resell and collect. The last couple weeks have been pretty crazy. Uh, we got some Stanley DeSantis, we got some Salvador Dali t-shirts. Uh, so you definitely wanna check it out because there are some bangers that tend to come out of it. We just never know what's gonna show up. Sometimes it can be rough, sometimes it's not. But uh, join us at 7 p.m. Mondays and see if we find anything dope in the rag bags that we have this week. All right, now for number one, and this is number one. What could be in this box? That is the question. Uh, this was not a thrift store find. This was a 
Uh, I think it was technically an auction find, but a buddy of mine who always is looking out for me uh, saw it, picked it up, uh, and thought I could, you know, potentially flip it. So he hooked me up. It's this guy right here. It appears to be a 1950s uh, Werner Hilton beaver fur hat. Brand new, never been worn. Been in the box for, you know, 75 years or so. I don't know what this is. This style is called. It's not a bowler hat, but it's got the ribbon there. Uh, it's But it's like pristine condition. Um, it's exceptionally good condition. Very old. Still smells. Got that old clothing smell. Uh, I've seen not a ton of comps for the, the hats like this, uh, but some hats like this sell for the $50 to $75 range. Considering the condition of this guy and that it's never been worn and it's brand brand new, I think I could potentially get a hundred uh, or upwards of a hundred for this particular hat. But we'll have to see. This is gonna be fun because sometimes you find old brands like this that don't necessarily show up all the time on comps uh, or on eBay, and you never know what you will find. But this one is number one to this week. Such a cool and interesting find. Love finding it. It's definitely a great uh, condition. Uh, and probably has some uh, wearers that would be really into it right now. So we're going to put this up and see how high we can get this thing to sell for. So that was the top five. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.